Okay, this is just concept. Pay attention. I'll show, tell you all about it. came down to Arizona and we we're gonna do a little different thing as you know Carolyn uh, caravan Carolyn and her gang of outlaws did it last year they went to long time long term visitor center or no area area so there's a whole bunch of these all over um, quartzite's got a couple uh, uh, Yuma's got a couple and California's got four or five so just google them and you'll find all the numbers. Now what it is, is we bought it this year, and we, of course you know Elle does the math, and she's got a very sharp pencil, way sharper than mine. And what it works out is 180 days for seven months. Now, the thing about it is, is you gotta remember, is that every time we dump that Ehrenberg every year, every year we come down, we dump at Ehrenberg every two weeks, you do the math, and it would cost us uh, $10, $10 a dump and $3 for water. So this particular one we're at here is they have a sandy dump, so it don't cost us nothing. The only thing we have to do is get water, which is two bucks, three bucks, maybe five bucks a week, which is no big deal. We had to buy water anyway. So if you add up the sandy dumps and we only have to pull not even a half a mile from the site, and it's right on site. Most LTV has sandy dumps, and a lot of them have water, and a lot of them have, gar most of them have garbage. So trying to find garbage, especially around, Havasu is not bad, but around quartzite and that, they, oh, don't throw that there, don't, don't throw that. And that's why there's so much garbage in Arizona, because nobody wants to use the garbage can, so they just whoop, chuck it. So here they got garbage, they got three great big bins, and we're in Midland, and three great big bins. We're gonna stay here for a week or so, and then we'll go to the man build, but then we'll go to Quartzsite or Yuma, somewhere, we haven't made our mind up yet. But we can go to any of them with the sticker, because we've got a sticker on the truck, a sticker on the trailer, and you can go anywhere. And the good thing about it, remember Carolyn RV life, she got in shit last year because she was not staying in Yuma, but she dumped her garbage there. Well, she can. It's legal because she has a sticker. She can do it on any LTVA. There's no saying that if you got to have your trailer here. And this camp post here is awesome. Just totally awesome here. Byron is his name. An awesome guy. And uh, if you just look at um, R RVTV, Ross did a video on it. And it's way out in the boondocks, but it's nine miles from Blythe. I didn't even know the place existed, but we're out here. It's very, very nice, nice and quiet and everything. And the thing about it is, if you do the math on moving around and sandy dumps, like say for instance, you go in every three weeks or two weeks, mostly you can only go two weeks and you go to a campground, that's 20 bucks a night, if not more. Like I phoned a one in Tombstone, they want 40 bucks a night dump your sewer full of water and all that. So that, you add up 40 bucks every two weeks. Gets a little pricey. But um, we're gonna try it this year and just see how it works. I think it's gonna be a great deal because um, the thing is, is that we want quiet and out of the way from people. And very many, very little people come here. And we're at court, and you're right off the pavement. Like this, most of the LTVAs are right off pavement. You go off the pavement into the LTVA. It's not like in Ehrenberg, we had to pull in five miles into the dirt, which we went today. And we said, no, we'll stay with the LTVA. But um, yeah, so it's just something to think about when you're doing it. And um, there's no limits. So you can go 14 days here or 20 days here or whatever, and just jump from LTVA to LTVA. Now the one over in Quartzsite is huge. Like somebody was telling me, it's like 12,000 square acres. Like huge. So you can get in there and get lost. But um, it's just something to think about. Um, I hope you get something out of it. We're gonna try it and see how it works. I think it'll be just fine. You know me, we never usually do stuff that screws up. And so, um, yeah, just think about it, try it, do the math on it, and you'll find it probably works out pretty good.